So I own a construction business and we just got a call from the police that a farmer fell asleep while plowing one of his fields and plowed over the road, destroyed the road. So they want us to quickly grab all of our construction equipment. We got backhoes, track hose, dozers, trucks, all sorts of stuff, run over there and fix it as quick as he can. He has the road blocked off. So I'm going as quick as I can in our awesome Harley Davidson. So let's quickly run to our shop, grab all the stuff. Oh, there he is right there. So there's the cop. So it's that road right up there. So let's quickly run over there, grab our stuff. It's right here and then we'll go check it out. All right, guys, load up the stuff. We got a big job. Load everything up. So really quickly, I'll show you around. We have an awesome dozer, track hoe. We got some asphalt here inside. Let's go inside, we'll open the doors up. So we got a front end loader. We got our work truck, a Dodge Dually. We got a backhoe. We got skid steers. We got a dump truck. Let's open up these bay doors. Open you up. So we'll need to open these up also. I don't know how bad the road is. We probably won't need the huge dozer, but we'll come get it if we need it. But I know we will need the backhoe. We'll probably need the front end loader. And I think we can probably load up that skid steer just in case. If we have room, we'll take the dozer. The dozer is really big though. So I'm not, I'm not sure we're gonna need the dozer yet. We'll drop it off there. Let's move the truck forward. So we'll use that track hoe though to load up some of that asphalt into the back of that dump truck. So that's what we'll use that for. Let's get the front end loader on there. I tell you what, after thinking about it, we don't need two front end loaders. So let's just take the backhoe and the dozer and then a skid steer. That should probably be enough actually. I don't think we'll need that big front end loader. So I think this will be a good enough setup to get everything done. And we can come back and get that front end loader if we need it. But I want to take the dozer just in case. I know it's a little bit, it's a little big, but uh, it's probably needed. And we can throw that backhoe on that little trailer and that should be perfect. And I mean, why not take this dozer? Look at this thing. This thing's awesome. Why would you not want to take this dozer? All right, so we can load it on there without messing up the trailer or the dozer. This dozer's pretty big, don't you think? All right, so we have no more room on there. Let's load up that and then we'll grab the other truck and we'll grab the backhoe and the skid steer and that'll probably fit on there. And then we need to get the dump truck, fill it up some asphalt with that track hoe and then we should be on our way. This truck has enough horsepower to pull this. Not by a lot. It can do it though. It's gonna struggle sometimes. All right, let's see. Let's come over here. Let's get where he can load us up with some asphalt. Right about there should be good, okay. Let's hop in the excavator now. Get us some asphalt and start loading it in that truck. Okay, got us a good scoop there. Try and dump it in this truck now. Probably make a mess doing this, but that's all right. That's part of it. There we go. Okay, last scoop. That should probably be enough. I missed a little bit on the ground there, but that's okay. All right, that should be enough. Let's check it out. Um, we pipe, let's put a little bit more. Uh, let's just take, let's just fill it up. We can always come back and drop it off what we don't want. Full to the top. Let's put the cover on top so we don't lose any when we're driving on the road. So this is good to go. Now all we need to do is load up the backhoe and the skid steer and we'll be ready to rock. Oh, this, is a, this truck is so cool. What do you guys think about our construction company? If you think we got a lot of really cool equipment, if you could give the video a thumbs up. Whew, almost hit our skid steer. If you could give the video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. It helps the video and our channel. And lets me know if you want to see more videos just like this one. Because I have fun doing this stuff. More farming stuff like this. I have a lot of fun. So let me guys know in the comments also if you enjoy this. Because I do. We got this guy on there now. Let's get the backhoe on here and hopefully the skid steer. Actually, we'll probably put the skid steer first. Let's do that. That's probably a better idea. Okay, I got an idea. I think I got a way to fit all this on there. It'll probably be a little heavy for our truck, but it'll be okay. We got the cat backhoe, the 420F. One of the best backhoes around. Let's get her loaded up. So let's get it like that. And then we'll raise the ramp up and then we'll back the backhoe up a little bit more. Give it some room. Put it more on these wheels so we don't have so much weight on the front. It's a pretty good setup right there. Let's take this one first. See the situation, see what exactly we'll need. And then we'll come back for that dozer if we need it. We probably won't, but just in case, it's already loaded up. We'll need that truck for sure though with all the gravel. So let's go check it out. All right, so there's the cop. Oh, I already see it off in the distance back there. Okay, that doesn't look good. We're just we're just here to fix the, uh, the road, thank you. 
So he's letting us through. Let's go up there, see if we can fix something, and then uh, get traffic back on their way. So what is that right there? Looks like someone drove a tractor into the lake also. Oh, wow. So he just plowed right across the road into the tree. He said he fell asleep. I would say, yeah, I think he probably did fall asleep. Or he was on his phone. Okay, well, this is a mess here. So we need to get the tractor off the tree. We might need the dozer for that, actually. That's let's, let's get the dozer. That's what we'll use the dozer for. We'll pour some of this asphalt here. We'll probably use the backhoe to backtrack that. Get it the best we can. We, have, we need a roller to roll it. We don't have one. But we'll do it the best we can. So let's go grab the dozer, actually. Okay, let's take the dozer over there. Get that tractor off the tree. And probably have to get that tractor out of the mud, too. And then we'll come get the dump truck with the asphalt and we'll start repairing the road. This farmer might need to hire some new hands because one stuck in the mud in the river. Must have been on his phone. The second fell asleep while plowing a field and drove into a tree and plowed up a road. Can the truck get up this hill though? With this heavy dozer. Oh, it's starting to struggle a little bit. Let's get the dozer out. Let's get this tractor off the tree. And start repairing this road. Let's get you off this trailer. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think of the best way to get this tractor off the tree without breaking something. Put the blade on the bottom and try and push the tractor off very slowly. I think that'll get it off the tree. Lift up a little bit. Do we get it? There we go. Okay, that actually... That was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Let's move his tractor out of the way. I mean, this is a pretty cool tractor for him just to fall asleep. Oh, he has the GPS. That's why. He has the GPS in this tractor. It probably messed up. He wasn't paying attention. Right into the tree. Across the road. It made a huge mess. Okay, so we're good here. We need to save that farmer stuck in the mud too. But we can do that last after we fix the road. So let's go get our dump truck. We are on our way now with the load of gravel to fix the road. Busy day. Here it is. It's the weekend. We're trying to enjoy our Harley. A nice Harley ride. And here we are. I will say, though, I'm glad we bought this truck because this thing is so cool. Let's take the cover off the top. Get it ready. Get up here and uh, pour some gravel on this road and get it all fixed up. We'll probably dump a lot out and we can just back drag the road. It'll probably be a different color, but that's okay. It'll at least be fixed. Okay, there we go. Probably a little bit more. A hair more, maybe? Alright. That's probably enough, actually. Once we get it smoothed out and stuff, that'll be perfect. So we'll start by just pushing some out of the way. Okay. okay. Prepare some that way. Alright, we got it spread out enough. I think the back coat could probably finish it now. Now let's smooth this guy out, make it look much better, get this road finished so people can start driving this way. Smooth it out, smooth it out, smooth it out. There we go. All right, it's looking better. All right. I think it looks pretty good. It's slightly different color, different color gravel, but that's okay. It looks so much better. We left that edge just kind of messy. There's not much we could do there. We cleaned it up the best we could here also. I think that looks pretty good. I bet you the county is going to be pleased with this. I think it looks fine. The color will change back to the other color after a little bit, I think. It'll blend in. But for now, that looks much better. Let's go save this last tractor out of the mud, and then we'll be good to go. Luckily, I brought some peanuts with me to eat because this thing drives so slow. Okay, let's not get the dozer stuck. That is step number one. Don't get this thing stuck because that would be a disaster. Let's investigate what we got going on here. Looks like he has a planter of some sort. Drove off into the mud. Almost into the water. I'm thinking we just get in front of this tractor and we should be able to push it out. Because this thing is strong enough to do that, I believe. But let's not get it stuck. That is, like I said, step number one. So far, it's doing okay. Can I get it out of the mud, though? Without ruining his tractor, too. That's also another thing. We don't want to ruin his tractor. Okay, that's what I wanted, to get it kind of like that. Come on. Come on, Dozer. Come on, Dozer. We might have him out of the mud enough where he can drive the tractor out? Let's try that. Maybe. I don't know. 
No, not quiet. The problem is it's really muddy here and our dozer's struggling to push it. Oh, it's moving it now. I think we're going somewhere. There we go. There we go. There it is. All right, let's move this tractor out of the way now. Get this Massey Ferguson out of here. All right, guys. To plant, it's pretty easy. All you do is you put this down, you turn it on, and you go. Stop driving in the water in the mud. Stop cutting across the road. Let's load everything back up and get to our place and see if we can enjoy the rest of our weekend before someone else calls. So if you guys think we did an awesome job fixing this road, saving that farmer with both of his mess ups, give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos just like this one. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I'll do more videos like this. I think this construction type was really fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and by giving the video a thumbs up lets me know that you enjoyed it. So until next time, make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe, watch more of our videos. Bye.